Hi guys, it's Manai's mom here. Welcome back to the channel. So guys, as you can see, I'm in a totally different background because I am not in the UK right now. We are actually on a little family holiday. You can see the flag there, that is a Turkish flag. And we are currently in Antalya and this is the view from Maria. But guess what guys, the kids are not here. We didn't bring them along because of the whole COVID situation we just don't want to take them on holiday right now i'm actually here with just me and the hubby so he's actually booked for us to go scuba diving today after we have breakfast right there downstairs is where we normally have breakfast so hubby's down there having breakfast and i'm supposed to be there right now and i'm running late i've actually been scuba diving before but hubby has never been scuba diving so i can't wait to see how he does when we start scuba diving and this is the person we're going with and i just thought of the best prank to pull on him we're going to be pranking him by doing the shampoo prank on him we've got some shampoo from the hotel i don't know if it's going to be enough this is the shampoo that the hotel gives you there's about they're quite small there's four bottles there and i'm not sure that's going to be enough for the prank and so i might go downstairs go to shop there where i can actually buy shampoo i need to hurry because he just called me right now breakfast is about to finish soon he actually left his bag so i'm gonna get his bag and i'm gonna head out i'm literally in a hurry now i'm gonna just spray that on quickly i'm just gonna head downstairs now <laughs> We just finished having breakfast. I'm just gonna go into the shop quickly, yeah? Why are you going to the shop? Oh, I'm just gonna go and buy some shampoo quickly. Why are you buying shampoo when we got shampoo in the hotel room already? I don't like that shampoo. It's not really good for my hair. Yeah, so I won't be long. Yeah? No. Oh my gosh. Now, I don't think it's gonna suspect anything because I've never pranked him before. This is gonna be my first prank on the nice dad. I don't know how it's going to react. I don't know if it's going to go to plan, but wish me luck, guys. Shampoo? Yes, we have. Okay, you can do the Okay, so. I don't know. Shampoo, which one to get? 35 lira. Thank you. I don't have any Turkish money right now. Thank you, babe. At the money guys and he doesn't even know i'm gonna be using his own money to prank him you too so we're just gonna head over to the scuba diving area diving school uh, it's down there One hour later. So we just got back from scuba diving and as you can see my hair is a mess, it's a bit dry now because it's really hot. But my nice dad has just gone in the shower to go and wash his hair. So I'm going to go and do the shampoo prank on him right now. I'm going to have to try and sneak in the shower and hide this camera. Hopefully I catch his reaction guys. This is the first ever time I'm going to be pranking him and I'm whispering because I don't want him to hear me. So let's go. I can't believe this. So unfortunately, silly old me was not able to catch the prank 
on the camera because I forgot to press record. What? Bro, what are you talking about, man? I am so mad at myself. <laughs> <laughs> it was so funny. But I really, really wish I could show you guys. And I was so upset with myself when I went back to check the camera to see that I hadn't pressed record because I was in such a hurry to try and catch his reaction to the shampoo prank. I am so mad at myself, guys. It was an epic fail, an epic fail. If I just give you guys an update, I can't believe it. I just got like one of the like worst news ever, guys. While we went scuba diving, my phone was tucked away. I finally switched on my phone and I just kept getting constant text messages and missed calls from Minai. Like she literally called me about 10 times within a space of like 20 minutes. I am just so sad about this news and I know that she's so devastated and I feel so, so bad that I can't be where right now because I'm in a different country and she is back in the UK with my mum and it's like the worst news ever. But well, let me just tell you what's happened, guys. So I finally checked from my phone and then I got a message from an eye and at first I thought she was pranking me and I didn't take it seriously. So she texts me saying that her TikTok account has been deleted or been banned by TikTok. And I thought honestly that she was pranking me because I don't see the reason why they would do that to her account. So I was on the phone with her like just 10 minutes ago. She was literally crying her eyes out. So I FaceTimed her and I felt so bad. And guys, she was hysterical on the phone, crying, sobbing, and I felt so bad. Meanwhile. <gasps> oh my gosh, I can't believe TikTok actually deleted my account. Like, what did I do wrong? Like, what did I do? Like, I'm so sad to... <laughs> the last thing that I ever wanted to happen is my TikTok account getting deleted. I have, like... My So it is true, I actually um, logged into her account and every time I try to log in, this message pops up saying that your account has been permanently banned for breaking community guidelines. And I don't know what they mean by that because I don't believe in like, anything that's breaking community guidelines. She hasn't made any controversial TikTok and guys, I just feel so terrible that I can't be there just to console her. So after I spoke to her, in regards to trying to get her account back because she just got 20k followers before we left her holiday and she was so excited about that she really loves tiktok it gives her like the freedom to kind of express herself and it's just so sad that she can't actually do that anymore and her account has been permanently banned and um she was having some issues with TikTok like a couple of months ago where she would like make a video and the video wouldn't post and I would message TikTok about it and they will respond back to say, oh, they're sorry that the video's fine and then they'll let the video post. But then it will be like shadow banned after a couple of hours or so. I don't understand what's happening with TikTok at the moment, but... I really, really hope that she can get her account back. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to message TikTok through Instagram to see if we can get any support. Ugh, I don't know. I just feel so bad for it. It's like the worst news ever. Like, Minai is so, so sad because of this. She's been on TikTok for a couple of months now. And, you know, that's a place where she can talk to a lot of her fans and, you know, her meme squad. Because sometimes the comments are turned off on the YouTube channels.
so she really likes interacting with people on tiktok and she loves loves making tiktok videos in her spare time so i'm really really hoping that her account can be restored again but if you guys know any way we can try and get minaya's account back any tips just leave it under this video and the next time we see me probably will be back in england with minaya to see if there's been any resolution i'm really hoping that it gets sorted out before i'm back if not then i don't know i just hope that she's okay at the moment so i'm gonna just have to end this video here today and probably see you next time when i'm back in england